<sighs> Let's do this. What's up ladies and gentlemen, today is the first wash of the year with my Corvette. I, I have driven it uh, two or three times so far. It's been great, but I, I'm not one to drive a car that's real dirty. And for Christmas this past year, I got one of the new um, suds and spray things from Walmart. And I'm gonna do a product review on that and try it out, see how it works out. Um, the one that I wanted to get was Adam's um, foam cannon, but they're a little bit out of my price range right now. Um, plus, this was a Christmas gift, so it was free. Uh, so I'm gonna open it up for you guys, show you a little bit about it, and we're gonna see how it works together. So the first thing you're gonna see is you gotta cut these two little wire ties here off the back, which a pair of little side cutters or dikes, some people call them, will do the trick. So the one cool thing about this is it actually comes with the hose trigger and it um, plugs right into this. And if you unlock this, like this, this here actually slides right off. And you have an actual hose attachment here. Um, of course, there's air ob rings in here to keep it from leaking. Uh, this here can actually adjust. This thing I can actually adjust by turning it like this. You can like change the, the way it, like it goes horizontal or vertical. And it just clicks back into position like that. Uh, this right here just unscrews, and according to this, it says the soap level is supposed to be here, and the water up here, but I think that is a ton of soap. I don't really have that much to use, so I'm going to use a smaller version of this and probably use about half and the rest water. Um, but then once you have the soap and water in there, this here just closes back up, hook everything back in like so, lock it, and you're ready to go. So since I am a Corvette freak, and I also like my Adam stuff. I built this shelf years ago, and I have all my rags hanging in here and all my Adam stuff up here. But for this particular video, we're gonna use Adam's car shampoo. Like I said, I'm not going to use near as much soap as it's calling for because this Adam's soap is very, very uh, sudsy anyways. So I want to, Adam's interested in seeing how well it actually works just using minimal soap and water. So now we're going to fill this here up with water. And then once you have that done, I, I like to use warm water just because that's just what I do. But then you just screw this thing back on nice and tight. Now we're going to hook it up to a hose and see how she works. Just turn this thing on here like this. It's nice it's actually on a swivel too. The, uh, the actual hose. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was. Then you just want to grab this thing and just put it on there and twist. Hit the little lock button on this side and I can't twist off. And we're ready to go. Just a little side note, it is extremely windy out right now. It's like 15 mile an hour winds, which isn't real windy, but whenever you're trying to wash your car, it can be a little uh, challenging. So with that, here we go. Here goes the test. Um, definitely pretty cool, a lot better than the way I used to do it, but not as thick a suds as I was hoping for, but I didn't use near as much soap as it was calling for, because sim I'm simply getting low in soap, but I think I'm going to buy more of the car shampoo to have a lot more of it, so I can actually use what it's calling for, and I'll probably have a lot better results with it. But as far as the way the product works, no leaks at all, it's very smooth coming out, um, very even. Uh, everything works the way it's supposed to. I think it's a great product for what it costs. I think it costs like $22 on, on Walmart.com and in the store if you can find it. Um, but as far as the product review, I give it a thumbs up. Five stars out of five from what I'm using it for. Uh, but now we're going to wash the rest of the car. I, uh just realized I put the soap in the wrong bucket. So uh, we gotta fix that.
There we go. There we go. Well, I'm gonna now pull it in and do some detailing with the rags and some, some of my um, Brilliant Shine stuff, Brilliant Glaze from Adams. I'm not gonna put that in the video because it's just boring. But the car is looking much, much better. No more dust and stuff all over the wheels and obviously the paint. As you can see, this car has a beautiful reflection. I absolutely love it. But the car is now clean. I'm just gonna pull it in and do some little detailing here and there. And it'll be done here shortly. Alright guys, I got the car all cleaned up. She is absolutely beautiful and she is of course back inside her car enclosure that I built her a couple years ago. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little maybe informative if you don't know how to quite clean a car. Um, I'm, I, only, I literally only clean my car one time a season and then I just use Adam's wireless wash the rest of the year. Just I just maintain it, keep it real clean. I don't drive it a whole lot. I mean I drive it once or twice a month. I mean once or twice a week, sometimes more. Um, a lot of times less though, um, but so it's, she doesn't really get soiled as some cars would. Um, so this is like the only wash of the year, um, but the rest of the time we'll just be detailing it here and there as I drive it. Um, but if you guys saw something I did wrong or want to um, critique what I did or use um, constructive criticism, I'm completely okay with that. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bah! Last night when I left my parents' house after getting my car washed, I realized, because I thought in my mind there was something I was forgetting to do, and I woke up this morning and realized, crap, I remember what I was thinking about yesterday. Sure enough, I did forget to do something, and it's a very small modification, but I'm actually gonna go right now after work, I just left work, I'm gonna go right now and we're gonna take care of that real quick. Here we go guys, got my YouTube name on there, and Instagram, I think that makes it pretty complete. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side and we'll be good to go. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh.